this sorry just messing with the camera a little bit hello i'm island turtle welcome to balmy spirit hold on it's like yeah it's, it's driving me nuts i did virgo right before ace so maybe i'm just a little bit in virgo mode anyway hey scorpios um Keep in mind, these readings are timeless in general. This is part one. If you are resonating with these readings, you can uh, look at the links below for part two on Patreon and Vimeo. Um, what else? Websites, socials, all that stuff. Check that out. But Scorpios, I'm, I'm eager to get into your reading here. So I'm actually going to start with the Herbal Astrology deck. But I got to say, with what I'm feeling with you, I'm getting sadness. I'm getting like a lonely feeling. It feels like something is not going the way you want. Um... I feel like you might even just feel like you can't like be around people right now. It feels like about one specific person, to be honest with you. Um, so take that as it resonates, whoever needs to hear that. This can be how someone may feel about you, Scorpio. But it feels like a Four of Swords energy. I also was getting that like you're cloaked or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, are we going there? Is this going to be one of those reads? I mean, it is a Scorpio read, so it might be one of those reads. I, I feel like you're cloaked. I can't get away from that feeling. It's like, like there's a web of energy around you, a veil, if you will. You could be feeling like maybe you can't see past the veil. I don't feel like that's right, though. It almost feels like people can't, excuse me, people can't access you. Yeah, it feels like you're bubbled or you're like just away or separate or isolated or something. Um, that's how it's feeling to me. And I, I feel like you're moving through sadness. I feel like you're moving through grief, but it just feels like it's rooted in loneliness. But Scorpio, I feel like it's actually serving you. I feel like it's for your highest good. I do. If you're feeling like really alone, I, I get it. We've all been there. But this seems to be important for you right now to take this alone time or to literally be away from a certain person. Could even be everyone in general, but it could be a specific person that you you should not be around right now. Um, I'm also getting to the way you're looking at this is having an effect on your emotional body. Like it's having an effect on how you're processing this emotionally. Like I feel like Spirit's encouraging you to, to see that there's a silver lining here, even if you don't understand why. Because you can look at it like in a way of I'm alone or I'm lonely, or you can look at it as, you know what? I, I need this right now or you know what I can focus on things that are just for me right now you know it's I feel like it's facilitating a phase of growth for you and maybe that's the other thing too like maybe you're being separated right now or cloaked right now because maybe you are about to move into some really beautiful things sometimes that happens sometimes when we are like kind of isolated from people our spirit intervenes and is like no nope, you're gonna be alone for a while it's because we're actually moving into something really great and we need to be in only our own energy, right? Uh, but that's what I'm getting with you. I just keep getting this sadness. I just keep getting a sad feeling. But keep in mind that can be reversed or vice versa because I do feel like there's a desire or yearning for another person or someone's yearning for you. But again, I'm going to use the herbal astrology deck for you here, okay? Any messages or insights from the Scorpios? Okay. Mm. Surrender with Passion Flower, Neptune, and the Moon. This is how it is right now, Scorpio. I can feel it. You feel alone or separated or isolated. Some of you are even confused as to why. Some of you may feel like your own like intuitive abilities have shifted in a weird way. I just, no, ma no matter how it's happening, you don't like it. I, I get it. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. You don't like it. It's making you sad. <coughs> you gotta flow with it though. It's happening. It's happening. So you might as well flow with it. We do have two owls poking in here. Passion flower can be a very intuitive herb to work with or to help you with your own intuitive abilities. It also helps you with your creative abilities as well. Your ability to create. Where is that for you, Scorpio? That feels a little far right now. It feels a little dim right now. It's interesting. Some of you may feel like spirits like make like intervening a lot in your life. Like how do I want to say this? Like you could be running into like weird, really weird roadblocks. Like maybe you're like trying to go and hang out with someone and then your car breaks down. 
or you're trying to get somewhere and your phone freaks out so then you like lose your directions you know it's kind of like that i feel like spirit's protecting you right now i just can't get away from it i just feel this webbing around you and it just it just has to be it just has to be it just has to be just give into it just give in to it. I get that you don't like it. I get that it's making you sad. The way to deal with that sadness is just look at it as this is just what it is right now. It doesn't mean I'm not going to be happy later. It doesn't mean I'm not going to get to experience things later. It just is how it is for my highest good and I need to accept that. Can I get one more for Scorpio? And you know, you will know if this resonates for you. It's like I keep getting this eerie feeling of just like random faded roadblocks some of you may feel like may wonder if there's like i don't know dark shit intervening i don't think so i think it's actually spirit protecting you can i get one more for scorpio whoa am i taking these no okay can i get one more for scorpio am i taking this no can I get one more for Scorpio? Don't fight it, Scorpio. Don't fight it. You know better than anyone. Don't fight it. Give into it. Some of you may be, um, I don't want to say paranoid, mistrusting, maybe a little suspicious of someone around you. Mm, patience with horsetail. Yeah, Saturn and Venus. Oh, Scorpio. With 43 and 35, that's seven to eight. So there is progression happening, which I'm, I'm happy to feel that with you. But with patience and surrender, and the, those threes there, I something is halted for you. I just keep getting that. Something is halted for a good reason for a really good reason. You can't see it, I, I can feel it, you can't see it. You can't see why that reason is there or what that reason is, but there's a reason. It could be with a friend or a family member. I feel like it's related to like a relationship of some kind. I don't feel like it's related to work. Some of you, it could spill into work depending on the, the relationship itself, right? Um, and sometimes when things are going weird in our relationship life, that can spill into our work life or just affect other aspects of our life. Some of you are experiencing something weird with work, but needless to say, I, thank you, they said the creativity aspect. Whoever this person is, they are not good for you right now. I don't want to say right now is what I want to say. You need to be kind of isolated or you need to be in your own energy because there's something in the creative realm, like how you use your creative energy. And I feel like some of you, this is tied to work that you need to tune into that you're not tuning into, you're not making space for, is what I'm getting. You're not making space for it. Hmm. 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 Some of you need to pay attention to your money. Sorry, I was coming up. Um, I feel like there can be improvements in money for you coming up, but it's really dependent on how you handle this period right now. They're showing me the webbing again. I just, I just feel like you're protected. I do. I just feel like you're protected and spirits trying to get you to be in your own energy and also trying to just, yeah, shield you from a certain person, maybe people, but it feels like one person. There's something you need to pay attention to within yourself regarding your own creative energy that you have not made space for. Also, I'm noticing the, uh, the pine cone representing the pineal gland, which is interesting because this is Saturn and Venus, but pineal gland to me would be much more like moon Neptune. So really emphasizing as well, that there's something intuitive that you're, you're not, you're ignoring. Interesting. And it's tied to whatever is going on in your creative realm or not going on really. I, but on the same flip side of that, I feel like some of you may feel blocked with your own intuitive gifts. And as a Scorpio, you have them innately. But are you blocked or is it something that you just don't want to see? Something that you've been evading? I don't know. It's going to be a very interesting read here, Scorpio Scorps. All right, let's go ahead and pull some cards. I'm actually going to use the Fae deck with you. All the decks that I use are linked below for your convenience. 
Any messages or insights for Scorpio? There's, yeah, there's this need to sit, Scorpio. I keep getting four swords. I'm also noticing the water in both of these. There's a need to sit still. Surrender to the moment, surrender to silence. There is something that you need to see, that you need to see in your own, about your creative energy, how you're using it or not using it. it could even be with your own sexual energy too. I feel like your eighth house is probably getting lit up right now. Um, and I feel like you need to be away from people or a certain person to, to do that. But are you making the space? I would say even like going by water is probably really good for you right now. Usually is for Scorpio. Half the footer, half the footer, half the footer, half the footer, whatever. Connection, a card of connection and grounding. You're, you're missing something, Scorpio. I keep getting that. You're missing something. You're not fully connecting to something and it feels like something within yourself. I'm wondering if you're scared. I'm wondering if you're scared to go there. It's not very Scorpio, but everyone can get scared. You're scared to connect with something. And I wanna say it's something inside of you. It could literally be your own sexual energy, which as again, 1144 when I looked at the camera and as, you know, being Scorpio, that'd be very interesting. Um, yeah, it has to do with the creative energy. You're afraid to fully connect to it. It's almost like you're afraid to see what's really there or you're afraid to see what maybe even you're fully capable of or what you're fully desiring. You're not fully connecting to it and spirit's trying to get you to. It could even be the desire you have for a person. But it's in the creative realm, which again, can even be sexual energy. Anything else for my Scorpios? Can I get a card for horsetail? I want to be free is what I'm hearing. I want to be free. Oh! Singer of the Chalice. 12, break it down to a three. This card is basically like the Ace of Cups. It's an open, flowing heart. The things I'm getting for you are heart, water, creativity. I'm actually getting air now too, which is interesting. To me, I associate the heart with air. Um, and I associate the sacral with creative energy. Um, well, there's other ways to associate that, but that's really what I'm picking up here for you. Scorpio, I like... Some of you guys might be having bursts of tears randomly. There's something that like you yearn for. Oh, Scorpio, you're gonna make me sad. Oh. <laughs> Scorpio, there's something that you yearn for. You yearn for. I wanna say you're even like thirsty for. And not in the slang way, but like, yeah, there's something you yearn for. And spirit wants you to have it. Your soul needs it. Like, I can feel it. Your soul, your heart is like, ah, give it to me. Um, I don't feel like it comes from a distorted place. That's always possible, but I don't feel that. So I'm just going to be honest with you as to the realm of possibilities and what I am feeling as a reader. Um, your heart is yearning for something or yearning for an experience or yearning for a certain person or something like that. But it's painful. I think that's why you're afraid to fully connect to it because it's painful or it's really scary. It's painful or it's really scary or both. And spirit's like, we're gonna isolate you. We're gonna sit your butt down. We're gonna keep you like this until like, so you can fully go there and connect to it. Mm. Okay, let's go ahead and pull from the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck.
the sadness, Scorpio. Oh, the sadness. It's it's such a weird catch twenty two because your your heart and your soul is like I I yearn I yearn I yearn I yearn I want I want I want. Some of you may may perceive it as heartbreak, and maybe it was once upon a time wherever the source of this yearning comes from. But I don't feel like your heart's broken. I actually feel like your heart is very fully intact, but it's just yearning. It's just wanting. So it's like you're wanting, 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 and spirit's like, you can have it, just connect to it because it's within you. It's something that within you, like you're capable of having whatever this experience is that you're yearning for, but you're not fully connecting to it in some fashion or for, you know, out of fear or whatever. And some of you that's also tied to your own intuition. It's like you're not fully connected to self. But it feels like, it's so hard to describe. It's like if you looked at the entire ocean, this piece of you you're not connecting to that's also causing such a yearning in your heart space is like 5% of the ocean. But it's it's like the most important part of the ocean is how I'm getting it. Yeah, it's like it's like 5% of you that's the most important part of you. And once you do, this experience you're yearning for can come in, but you're hesitant to go there. This is so interesting. So I got flat with footer and passion flower. So the longer you don't connect to that 5%, the longer you're just gonna yearn. Spirit is basically just like, we're giving you the opportunities to do what you gotta do to connect to this. Well, cards lit everywhere, but you got to go there. It's on your timing at this point, is how they're saying it. <laughs> Tell me about Faf the Footer and Passion Flower. I was wondering if birds were going to come out, because like when I was meditating on your energy before I started recording, I was getting something about birds, like pay attention to like what you're sensing intuitively. But no wonder, because you're struggling to connect to this 5% of you. We have elephant, nightingale, and raccoon. This is part of what you are struggling to connect to. Elephant is usually breaking down barriers, breaking down blockages. Nightingale is a throat chakra energy. It's about communication. Sometimes I get it as like a preachy or venting or singing, like, ah, like a lot coming out. And raccoon to me is a masking energy. I feel like what you're not connecting to is a fear. And it's affected your communication or your throat is what I'm getting at. The elephant is indicating it's up to you to get there, but you feel blocked from it. And I don't think anything is blocking you other than yourself. Like normally the elephant comes out, I'm like, yes, because it feels like a wall, but you haven't done it yet. So it feels like a wall to me energetically. But it's a fear. It's something that you are purely afraid of that's again affecting your throat and communication could even be what your true feelings are even about like a person because again I keep getting like yearning for a person um what was the other thing that wanted to come through or could it be something you're not being honest about with you within yourself like a truth you know about yourself or about your creative energy or your sexual energy and you're just not being honest you're afraid to be that honest with yourself whatever it is it must be pretty big because it's only 5% of you, but it's the most important 5%. All right, looking into Horsetail and Singer of Chalice. It's a, sort of the sound of your heart. So this lies in the heart, Scorpio. That 5% of you lies in the heart. The sound of your heart. Hmm. Tarantula, that's usually a tense energy. Um, tarantula can be like a crossroads energy, like making a choice. I just feel tension is what I feel. I feel a tension between the truth, the raw energy of what it that 5% is, and then the fear, the mask, the not wanting to be honest. Hyena coming with tarantula. Hyena is a seven of swords energy. Hyena is another masking energy. What's lurking behind the moon? The dark side of the moon is the hyena card for me. You're not being honest about something within yourself. It's, it's clear as day. 
Can I get one more? We got two more. Mm. We have Peacock and Turtle, which is kind of weird to come out with this. Peacock for me is also another masking energy, um, but in this deck, it speaks to beauty and grace. Turtle to me is a grounded energy, also speaking to ancestors being around, guides being around, but natural, oh, water heater, sorry. Uh, natural flowing um, moves within your life, but grounded and patient, but grounded and patient. What are you not being honest about? Oh, Scorpio. What are you not being honest about? I feel like even if you spent this like time with yourself, which spirit's kind of making you do, I feel like even if you go within, it's like, you know how to go within. You're a Scorpio. You know how to do that. It, I think it's been really easy for you to sidestep whatever that 5% is. Mm. What is it? What is it, Scorpio? I, I feel like your heart is wanting to sing is what I, I'm, I'm getting. I like the sound of your heart, the song of your heart. Your heart wants to sing something. Your heart wants to say something and it's whatever that 5% is that you literally just don't let it do. Do? You don't you don't let it do that. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't know. This is going to be a very interesting read. Where are we at? God, 22 minutes. Okay. Try to quickly, try to quickly pull a tarot card for each section. Is it judgment? Because there's so much masking. There's literally like three out of seven cards, like almost half the cards are about masking, hiding. Can I get a card for elephant, nightingale, and raccoon for Scorpio? I am getting the word control. Um, getting the word control. Control Control plays a factor in this in some way, shape, or form. That feels like a pattern to me. Pattern of behavior. We have the Wheel of Fortune coming out here. It's time to shift this, Scorpio. It's time to connect to that 5% of yourself. To the song of your heart. It's time. It's going to majorly shift something for you that's going to allow you to finally experience what you've been yearning for. The only one that's been getting in your way is you. It's almost like you've needed to have this like full homecoming of self in order to have what it is you're truly yearning for. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. They gave me a little piece. What you're yearning for, okay? Some of you don't even fully understand what you're yearning for. It's almost like, because they keep bringing back to the mask, the mask, the mask, the mask. The emotional experience you're yearning for, I feel like you have actually been mistaking it for something, um, for something else. That's just not what it's going to gift you. You know what I mean? It's almost like, it's almost like chasing happiness. Like I yearn for happiness and so I'm going to do this because I think it's going to make me happy because I think it's going to get me what I want, right? It's kind of like that. But instead of chasing what you think is going to give you the satisfaction that you're looking for, just let yourself connect to what it is you actually want. But for some reason you're afraid of it, but why are you afraid of it? Some of you may be afraid of being judged. Some of you may feel like, wow, that's really out there. Some of you, maybe there is a really, really painful, painful memory or experience you had that's like wrapped around whatever that true yearning is. And so that's why you're afraid to go there, but that's what I'm getting. Anyway, so it's time to shift this. Very interesting read. All right, can I get a card for Tarantula, Hyena, Peacock, and Turtle? For Scorpio, 
for Singer of Chalice and Patience. I, I know it's hard to stop, like, when you, when you, like, want, it's really hard to just be like, I'm not going to chase it. It's really hard to be like, I'm not going to try to go and seek that out. But there's, there's a reason, Scorpio. There's a reason. And Spirit's like, because you got to connect to something in you first. It's very, it's very clear. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. The devil. Yeah. This yearning for some of you has manifested as obsession, codependency, addiction, control, control, control. They wanted me to say it three times. That is not, that is not going to satisfy your soul. It's not. The devil will not satisfy your soul. It just won't. It'll be maybe like immediate momentary relief or uh, intoxicating joy, but it's not what your soul and your heart are really trying to say or what they really want. It's just not. And the sooner you really just connect to what that actually is and be honest about it, I think it's going to happen. I think whatever that is, it's just going to pop in your life and it's just going to happen. Or it could even be that like full experience of self. Maybe it is like tapping into that 5% is going to give you that full homecoming. And then you won't yearn anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, all right, Scorpios, let's go ahead and get into part two. But if this is where we depart, am I going to talk about, oh, they were like, wait, <laughs> uh, that could bring me back to control, 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 control. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is those who are, I don't even want to say struggling with addiction because this is really interesting. Whoever this is for, whatever group this is for, I think some of you have believed that you have overcome addiction, but I think what you've done is replaced it for things that are socially acceptable. Like as an example, um, like maybe you replaced I don't know, drinking with working out. But maybe you work out a lot. <laughs> maybe you work out like twice a day, right? Or something like that. It's like, there's something about this like, uh, like obsessive fixated outlet is what I'm getting. Cause it's like a true addict can make anything an addiction, right? And that's kind of what I'm getting for some of you. It's like, just because it's socially acceptable or it's rewarded socially or looked at in a positive way by other people, like, whoa, look at everything Scorpio is doing. Whoa, look at how hard Scorpio works. Or whoa, look how disciplined Scorpio is. Doesn't mean it's not an addiction or addictive behavior trying to like satiate a deep yearning that you are not being honest with yourself about. I'm just saying. All right, Scorpios, I got to get to part two. <laughs> These readings are a little long today. Um, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope you found it helpful and supportive. And if you're joining me for part two, I will see you soon. Take care, Scorpios. Namaste.